Hello YouTube and Mr. Forks. Premiere Pro tutorial here. Just thought I'd uh, show you how to create stereo mixes in stereo mixes inside of uh, Premiere Pro CS two, three, four, whatever you're using, because it pretty much works the same. Um, not video doesn't really make too much difference because I'm just going to use audio for now. Um, because obviously it's to do with audio as opposed to uh, as opposed to video so what we're going to do is we're going to look in our audio mixer window if you can't see it go window audio mi audio where is it audio mixer sequence one which is whatever sequence you're using and it will show up um, you might see source or effects, so just go window, audio mixer, sequence one, and it will show up. Beautiful. Um, so basically, what you can do is you can assign different audio tracks to different audio channels. Um, so, for instance, if I just go into the uh, sequence, um, if I just click on this sequence, it tells me a bit of information up here. It tells me it's stereo. It tells me the um, the audio hertz, how many frames per second, etc., etc., etc. Um, but I'm interested in this. This is a stereo project, and that is represented here. You can see um, we've got a left and a right pan. What does that mean? Well, basically, if you pan it negatively, then it pans it to the left. Now, if I do that negative 100, then what that means is that audio 1, which you can see it here, you can also see it down here, it's called audio 1. If I rename it up here to uh, left, then it will be changed down here, where it now says left. You can change this one to right, maybe, because it's always good to organize your uh, audio channels because it can get very complicated. So, let's move that over here. And that's set to left. Oh, we're going to set this one to right because it says right. So, that's going to be positive 100. You can grab this slider or you can actually grab it and um, turn it round like that beautiful if I press play now you can see this master meter which is also over here if you're in the default layout this shows what's coming out in the left speaker and the right speaker so if I press the uh, equals key to zoom in. I'm going to click this little arrow here that's going to show me that audio track. If I were to turn off the left speaker and I can do that by works the same as in Photoshop if I toggle track output that's basically going to ignore this uh, the left track now and just use our track right and any other audio tracks we have. So when we play it back you can see that it's only going to come through the right speaker turn it up so you can hear that maybe it's only coming through the right speaker like that and what you can do you can grab the master volume and bring that down or you can bring it up and you can also change the value of each individual track so say you wanted the um, right speaker to be louder than the left we can increase the volume of that turn our left back on decrease that a bit and you can now see that represented now the uh, right channel is a lot louder than the left one obviously you don't necessarily have to toggle it left and right um, we've got a third track in, in here if we bring that down here drop that down so we can see that channel and we can change the volume of that without panning it if you panned it slightly to the left but not all the way to the left what that does is that it will make it louder in the left speaker and it will still be in the right a bit to create the illusion that it's slightly to your left but not completely. Make sense? I hope so. Um, 
And, that, and if you just play around with that, you can have some cool effects. Maybe someone speaking to the left of the screen, so you can make his voice come to out on the left. When you've finished editing something, you can have a lot of audio tracks. And it's quite a good idea to have quite a few left audio tracks and a few right audio tracks that are just the um, tracks that you specify. Um, so basically, you'll have lots of left just left sounds and just right sounds and then lots of mixed audio values because um, the way that Premiere Pro works is that your left of each audio clip has a left and right audio channel you can um, see that here that's the left channel that's the right channel you can even it even says L and R to show that um, so you've got your left and right audio channels however both these um, it's just seen as a mono um, audio. If it was um, audio three, is um, if we change that to be called um, stereo, then it's just going to read the values that it actually says. So, like as you can see, we've got slightly different volumes coming from the uh, left and right channels at the same time. And if we uh, scrub through. Oh, really? If we press play, what's happened here? Okay, if we press play, you can see that these values are in fact very different. They're not always even, um, and I know these appear uneven which that's because they are separate channels but they're both being pushed through one so it is being treated as a mono channel whereas this is still its stereo and the values in here um, are represented in our master channel so what have we learned? We have learned how to have some stuff through the left speaker and some stuff just through the right if you want had a um, you can have a surround sound mix down if I file um, we're going to go new sequence, we don't need to um, create a whole new project and we can set it to surround sound tracks, change the master to 5.1 and that is surround sound double click, uh, yep, if we bring our audio in here you can see that we don't have a we don't have one. We don't have these little turntable things anymore. We've now got a representative thing of the whole room. And as you can see, in our master channel. We've now got I think it's six channels. That's the five and also the one. What is the one? Well, the one is in fact the subwoofer. Just like um, stereo is two point one. You've got your two, your left and your right, and you've also got your subwoofer, which controls bass. So say we wanted this audio clip to be at the front, stick it at the front like that. Now the way this works is that if it goes black in one of the corners then that means it's locked to that speaker. So here you can see that that sound is only going to be coming out of your front central speaker. Whereas if you had it just in front it will then come out of the, uh, the these speakers as well, the side speakers um, to compensate to make the sound sound like it's coming from here as opposed to just at the front. Um, the great thing about surround sound is that you can make stuff come from behind the audience just like here um, but the problem with surround sound is that I believe for um, Premiere Pro you do actually have to buy an additional surround sound license to use it which is a problem obviously but it is very good and if you pay extra for the license, it tells you how to do it. Um, if you Google it, find out. Um, but that is how to create um, audio mix downs. I don't know what to call this tutorial, but you know. Oh, well, thank you very much for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.